and scroll on up. So the average of the sample that we have taken is uh, 2,174. You'll recall that the average of the entire population, 2,189. So, so, that, so there's our comparison. And we could compare, of course, each data point that we got you know, compared to, to the, you know, the average. So let's take the bottom number here, the average, and I'm gonna copy that all the way across to the right to our 75 samples of 20. So there's our averages for the whole set of samples that we took. And then let's take this entire thing. I'm gonna make it blue. So I'm gonna go up top and say, let's make that drop down blue, white, bordered. And then I'm gonna, I'd like to see that in a vertical format. So I'm gonna do what we've seen in the past here, take this whole thing and then paste it in a vertical format. So I'm gonna copy this, put it in a column, in other words, Control C or copy, scrolling up. I'm gonna put it, oops, I'm put the wrong button, put it right here in DI, di, right click. Oh, I lost it now because I fumbled around, I fumbled. All right, fumbled. Let's copy it again, ultra copy. Ultra base another time once again por favor right click and copy copy that copy that roger roger and then we're going to paste that in di right click and paste it let's do it one two three and then i'm going to copy again right click and copy and then paste it over here in dg and paste it special because we want to transpose transpose make it into a column if you would and and excel's like okay and then it does it no problem no problem says excel we, we can do that without a problem so let's make this into a table i can say insert and tables let's make a table boom so there's our averages and uh, and and we can compare the the average to to what we had for the expected or actual or population average right the population average was equal to I'm going to scroll all the way to the left to pick up that original average that we came up to 2189 so there's the population average and I'm going to say double click on this one I'm going to say uh, make it absolute by selecting F4 dollar sign before the E and the one to pull that all the way down. This is the difference from the average of all those. And so this is going to be equal to this minus this. So there's the difference all the way down. We could make a total column down here and a table. You can do that by going to the table tools and total row. And then on this column, I would like it to give me the average of the averages, which is uh, which is that pretty close, right? And then I can, for this one, I want the sum, which it's doing of the differences. So that's that's that. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Now you could you could take a histogram then of our samples too to see what what each sample kind of looks like in terms of the of the data. So for example, I could go into my sample data here for 75 and insert uh, charts a histogram now we only took 75 so the histogram you know is somewhat limited in the data but here's our histogram of 75 and we could change the buckets if we want to to maybe add more buckets like five buckets uh, and so there's our histogram with five buckets. We can compare that to the data for 74. So I could take the data for 74 and insert, if we so choose, a histogram. And we can compare the results on 74, putting this down here. I'm gonna just call this 74. And we can then take a look at our buckets change that I think we did five buckets right have five buckets on this one 
So there's you know different data sets for the randomly generated data mapped out with a histogram. Let's do one more, 73, and insert charts, histogram, his, histogram, histogram. It's hissing at me like a cat. And then this is gonna be, I don't know what, why I had to say that, I don't know, histogram. We're gonna say, let's make this one into number of buckets five, so they all have five buckets. So, so we can compare, you know, the samples data that we have, and we can also make a histogram if we wanted to of the averages uh, of all the samples, because we took 75 samples. So I could then take take these results if we wanted to, uh, and then make a histogram of that. Insert uh, a histogram. I should have moved up before I did it. Now I got to move it up. I, I oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be more tedious than that. Okay, so this is going to be the the samples samples. Let's just say. And that has you know five buckets, so 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 there's just a different kind of tool that we can basically use for the shuffling tool and how we can generate our our random data uh, samples and use that of course to create our histograms of the sample data that we have chosen per sample or possibly of the averages of all you know the the average sample data.